Okay, so at one point or another, you've probably cheated on a test. For you, maybe you were just looking over someone's shoulder. But for me, that was a little too risky. I got a little story about my best time cheating. So this is in my middle school, my eighth grade year, and let's just say I wasn't doing that great in math. And we got this big test coming up, like, this could make or break my year. So my friend, let's just call him John, comes to me, he's, he's holding out a little piece of paper, and he looks at me and he goes, Hey, 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 hey man, I got, I, got, I got them answers, them answers to the test. And to this day, I don't know where he got those answers from, but I really didn't care. So me, I'm all hyped up. I'm gonna pass this test, of course I'm gonna pass this test. I get to class, I'm walking in as calmly as possible. So teacher lady passes out the tests, and I do exactly what you expected. But I notice the guy next to me, he's, he's calling my name. Yo, yo panty snatcher. And I look at him thinking, I got it good over here, don't ruin this for me. And he says, let me get them, let me get them answers though. And I think whatever, I lean over and I give him the answer slip. I see him cheating, but I notice once he's done, he passes it on to the next guy. So I shrug it off. Whatever. I ain't even mad. So class ends, we walk out, go to our next class. That next class ends, we walk out, and next thing I know, I got people walking up to me thanking me for helping them cheat. People I ain't talked to all year. And I'm just over here like, uh, y you're welcome. School ends, I go home, I come back the next day, and I get another person thanking me for helping them cheat. And at that, it was like six or seven people. So by the end of that day, I know at least 15 people who used that slip. Was I happy? Yeah, yeah, I was happy. I ended up getting 100 on the test. And to this day, I do not know how many people must have seen that slip. But I don't want to give you the idea that me cheating there was a good idea. That next year, I go to high school. That's my first year of high school. And because of my fantastically amazing cheated grades, I'm in all advanced classes. I promise you. Ninth grade was the hardest year of my life. At one point during ninth grade, I had literally accepted the fact that I was gonna fail and I was ready to be held back. Obviously, I didn't fail, but I did learn my lesson for how much I cheated in middle school. So what you need to take away from this story is though cheating is a quick fix, you need to think about the long run.